everybody. It's Sarah with a blind touch and you guys are going to experience a little business with me today. Now in massage therapy, you have to take notes after every massage and they're called soap charts. Subjective, objective, assessment, and plan. And you write one after every massage you do. I have a piece of paper here. Let me see that real quick, honey, and I'm going to show it to them. This is what it looks like, guys. You put the patient's name, and it shows their body front and back, and you can make... What can you do with that, honey? The body? Yes. You circle the body parts you work on if it's intensive. Okay, and then you put subjective. What does that mean? What they requested, what they wanted from the massage. And then you have objective is what I, as a practitioner, do during the massage. Assessment, what I use it for is what I find. And plan is what I tell them to do to help with the massage afterwards. Awesome. So where are we going? You know, hubby, we're going to the store to get them copied. Is it a Kinko's? No, I believe it's at... Um, Is it an Office Max? Office Depot, I believe. Office Depot. We go there, we're going to get a bunch of copies made because I go through a lot of them. All right. And then we're going to talk about what today? Just kind of everything? A little bit. Okay. You guys stay tuned. We'll go on a little journey today. Where are we going, honey? Well, you guys, we just got done in Office Max. Yeah, let me show them the sign. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there we are. We just got a whole bunch of my soap charts made, and I'm going to be in business for a good year. <laughs> I thought we have to come back and get more. But now we are off to the grocery store. We're going to get a couple things that we need to have to eat for tonight. Is it cold out? This is great February, Ohio winter. It's cold and windy, but at least no snow. All right, we'll see you in a bit. We'll see you in a bit. Where are we at, honey? Hey, we're at our local Walmart, and we're getting a couple groceries for dinner, and I don't know, hubby might want some chips to dip, I don't know. Hey, what are, we'll we, what are we having tomorrow night? We are trying a recipe from Pioneer Woman, slow cooker barbecue chicken. And tonight we're making taco lasagna. Oh, yummy. It'll be a good time. Hey, are you going to show them how to make it? We might. I might. Okay. It just depends on how long the video is going to be. Okay. Hey, everybody. For dinner tonight, we're making taco lasagna. It's a casserole dish. It's like a deconstructed burrito. So it's that lasagna doodles, you use burrito shells, taco meat, sauce, and cheese. Make it into yummy goodness. Now what hubby does for me in this casserole is he cooks the hamburger and makes taco meat. I assemble it, he helps me get in the oven, and it's 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the cheese is melted and bubbly. You're on. Oh, so with the taco lasagna, hubby, or AKA Shane, makes the taco meat, he browns the hamburger, he brings it to the sink, drains it, we wipe the skillet out with paper towels to get rid of most of the grease. He puts the meat back in, we put three tablespoons of taco seasoning with two thirds cups of water, we let the water reduce to make a sauce, and then we assemble the casserole. And we wear our ninja shirt. Woo! Okay, what are we doing? Okay, you guys, you are going to watch a blind woman make a mess making dinner, but it's just going to be fun. So the first thing you should do when you're assembling a casserole and make sure you have all your ingredients laid out because it's going to get messy oh the mess <laughs> but if you have everything out of packages or in the package you need it to be in 
the mess will be as contained as it can be. So the first thing you do, you need four church tier shells total. So here you have those out. All right, I'm gonna. So the first two shells. Now hubby sprayed the casserole dish with cooking spray, so it's all non-stick. So go ahead and lay your braised shells in there, overlap them. Just like you do lasagna. Do you want to bring those up on the sides any more than they are? Or are they good there? No, no, no. This is good. Okay. See, guys, I don't know how to cook. She does. Now, we, we put the meat in a pan for her. So, this is meat and salsa combined. Okay. I didn't get your face in that, but that's okay. And... As you guys know, it's mess time. <laughs> oh, that's messy. I'm getting it all to the corners as an, un, as an even meat mixture can be. Okay, taco meat and salsa is in there. Okay, let me give you the napkins real quick. Okay, you guys, meat, salsa is even there. So right. next comes the best part about a taco, the cheese. Awesome. More cheese? No, I think you need to take some. Oh, yeah, a little bit more on the back side. There you go. That looks good. Okay. That's perfect. So, we have a layer of shell, meat, and now cheese. And guess what? Repeat layer. So, here I go. Now those have to go toward the corner more, don't they? Nope. Nope? Nope. See, that's what I always did. Let me get this out of your way, guys. There we go. Now you can see what she's doing. Okay. Now you just put the meat down again? Yep. Awesome. Okay, let me get... Let me check this out, what you're doing here. Better than I can cook. Awesome, I'll take that from you. Okay. And that's got the salsa mixed in already, right? To yep. help you out. Okay, so hubby put the salsa in for me. We used about a cup. He put it in the meat mixture for me. Cause wow, well, it makes it, it makes it easier. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> How, tell them how hard it is to do this being blind. <laughs> it's okay, so it's a little difficult, but I get to play with my food, so it's not that bad. <laughs> and I'll tell you one thing if you're not making a mess, you're not cooking. Awesome. Here goes the layer of cheese. Okay. You want some help with that? Nope. Okay. It's all there in the middle. So guys, we're going to come right back and you're going to put it in the oven, right? I'm going to try. Do you cover this up? No. You have it at 350 for 10 to 15 minutes or until your cheese is melted and bubbling. Awesome. So we're going to get uh, some... I'm going to wash my hands and we'll get it in the oven. So guys, she puts it on top of the stove first. This is a lot easier. It's a lot safer, right, honey? Yes. And then she'll open the door, and she touches it to know where it's at. You might have to help guide me. That's okay. You got it. You got it. Keep going in. Nope. Up a little. In. I'm going to touch the side. No, you're not. There we go. There we go. We got it. Awesome. Okay. Was that scary? YouTube, blind as in hot ovens, 
sometimes don't mix. <laughs> so sometimes you have to have a sense of God like a senile human. <laughs> so this bakes for about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll come back when it's done. I'm going to show you the end product. There you go. Okay, everybody. It's out of the oven. It only took 10 minutes. But you can see it's nice and bubbly and the cheese is all melted. Now, just like lasagna, you let it sit for about five minutes to let it cool and for everything to melt together. We top it with sour cream. And when we top it with sour cream, we top it. Because <laughs> that's how we roll. But the thing you can do, if you don't like ground beef like what we use, you can use ground turkey or ground chicken. Just spice it up with your taco seasoning and it works just as well. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. How people help me out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.